Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, let's give a very warm welcome to the Governor of West Bengal, Mr. Jagdeep Dankar. Governor Saab, thank you for joining us at the India Today Conclave, taking time out from this. Let me begin by saying that yesterday we had the Chief Minister of West Bengal sitting precisely where you are sitting, and uh, she had made certain remarks about you, critical remarks about uh, her relationship with you. How would you describe your relationship with her? Uh, Raj, I would like to focus on more critical issues. I carefully watched what the Honorable Chief Minister said and the questions put to her. You can have this folder with you. I have I've listened to it, yes, I was there yesterday. And I must put the record straight. The anchor yesterday, I quote, every morning I get uh, something sir, from I, Jagdeep Dankar. If you're going to do this thing, we have actually, I can request my producer so that they can, uh, Sam, can you just play that clip, clip just so, so that you don't have to read it out? Yes, we'll, only two of these. Yeah, do you just, know his name? Dankar. You know, what do you know about it? A similarity has been One second. The same thing what you're saying. No, no. Dhan means artho. And kar ko bolta hai koro. You know, Jagdeep Dhankar and you seem to have, Hindi mein kahenge, chattis ka akada. Every morning, I get something from Jagdeep Dhankar, which clearly says that he is now going to summon the West Bengal Chief Minister to his office. Raj Bhavan and the Chief Minister's office, Nobonno, seem to be in some kind of a fight to the finish. What's going on? The latest over the fact that you have passed a Sorry. bill or you want to pass a bill that all it the universities not. of Bengal, you will become the chancellor. He has objected, sure. saying this is unconstitutional. Is what is going on? Maharashtra government also passed this bill. Yeah. When Narendra oh. Modi was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Look here. If ah, you, if yeah, yeah, sure. If you want uh, we to will, uh, you go ahead and read what you have One to second, say. Raj. Yeah. If you wish to repeat the chief minister... No, no, because you were reading out from that, I said, let no, us get no. the exact script of this. I said, exactly, your anchor, I wouldn't call a lie, because I am reflecting on a journalist. 100% untruth. Imagine what he says, every morning, Jagdeep Dankar, tweet, summon the chief minister. How can this platform be so misutilized? Wouldn't even care to check my tweets. I had to suffer a pain when Mr. Sogat Rai, a senior parliamentarian, reflected, I sent him WhatsApp messages every day against Chief Minister. Not a single one. So you deny, I mean, let's start with your relationship with the... Why should I deny, the, sir? No, let's start with your relationship Raj, with the Chief Raj, Minister. Raj, yes. Why should I deny? Tweets are in public domain. Your journalist must be put to proof. He must point out a tweet. He talks of every day morning. This, sir, to put it mildly, is defamatory. And look at secondly, the latest tussle over the bill that you want to pass, that all universities of Bengal will become the she will become the chancellor. And what he says, the governor has objected, stating that this is unconstitutional. Do you remember the, do you have a slightest idea of ramifications of this falsehood? Well, let us get well, to, well, no, I, me, I mean, let, before let, we deal with, let, let, me let us answer the questions that the, uh, that was posed. One second, one second, let and me, let us have your uh, views on the matter. Not me. Because, you know, we can, uh, what, sir, what, we have what, got. Uh, limited time, I, will, I, know. I wish And to I would you. like your viewpoint, because I, that's I, why we exactly called you, because the chief minister said something. I, 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 I would yeah. get, give me some space. Right. The anchor says, I have called the bills unconstitutional. Nothing can be more ravaging on fact. No one can misquote another person, much less the governor or constitutional head. But the fact you, stays, you, no, you, I mean, I'm not saying that, uh, uh, leave the unconstitutional bit. The fact is that there is such a bill being passed by the assembly. That bill is for your consideration. Yesterday, the Chief Minister said that there have been instances in Gujarat and Maharashtra where sir, a similar sir, bill has sir, been passed. Sir, don't yeah. give me my space. 
I am on two points. Right. Otherwise, you will divert it. And no, no, I'm not diverting. I'm, I'm I said, the... I said first, I am deeply hurt. This is not in consonance with journalistic ethos that on a platform like this, an anchor should be making misstatement of fact with respect to. We are giving you the opportunity, Governor Number, Sahib, to correct I, I said, uh, whatever now, misimpression you had about this. Now, uh, let thing. me tell you, both these things by her are by him are wrong. Okay. I would put it to you yeah. that in the state of West Bengal, democracy is strained as never before. We are virtually having constitutional anarchy and the word I have used in my communication to the Chief Minister. The crime in the form of extortion by syndicate mafia operations is going unabated since 2018, if not earlier, in every nook and corner of the state. Syndicates have stangled hold on most businesses. I am not saying so. High Court said so on 21st February 2022. The state government went to Supreme Court and lost. What do we do? Uh, these are questions to be put. So we are, we are putting that question. What no, do you no, do? No, no. You are yes, the governor, sir. You have got the powers. I'm, I'm responding, to... sir. Sir, bear with me. And... Right. Kuch rahem karo. Aapko jo suno. Aapko kal jo karna tha, kis sima tak kia, kis hamdardi se kia, rajniti ka ek naya ayam dikhaya, aur ek bhi kathir pashan nahi pucha. High court ki ek finding. कल पूछने चाहिए थी मैडम चीफ मिनिस्टर एक्सटोर्शन बाय सिंडिकेट एंड माफिया इन एवरी नूक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्टेट इज अ फाइंडिंग ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट व्हाट हैव यू टू से सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिक्लाइंड असर पी दैट वाज नॉट सेड लेट मी कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन सर नो नो बट लेट अस डील विद ईच ऑफ दीस इश्यूज सो दैट द ऑडियंस आल्सो गेट्स अ सेंस व्हाट डू यू हैव टू से अबाउट इट यू आर द गवर्नर ऑफ द स्टेट फॉरगेट अ मीडिया रिपोर्टर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन you probably would have, would have asked this question of the chief minister you have every right to do so what did what did she reply him have you asked I'm, her firstly you can trust me on one aspect right you only have to wait for some time you will get response so let's uh, your, take but, each question but, individually but, but, no but we will we'll deal with each of the sir, uh, sir, each of the issues that you have sir let me when i have indicated nothing can be more dangerous for democracy little up, nothing can, can be more painful for democracy the syndicate and mafia so should be engaging into extortion every minute secondly on postpol violence a committee constituted by the high court a committee of experts and it says situation in the state of west bengal is manifestation of law of the ruler not rule of law and what they say there is palpable fear among victims against police and goons of ruling party and it further says no attempt was made by the state functionaries to wipe out the tears post poll violence most unprecedented in the country had one facet can you withstand rape murder arson loot and punish people for voting according to their conscience how can that be done judicial orders are ignored and an easy passage is given i but if you do object no uh, to to the governor sir she, uh, yesterday we asked her this question and she said one she said and i'm just you know uh, summing up what she said she said that firstly much of the violence was pre poll and this was under the when the election commission of india was conducting the poll second she said the numbers that are being quoted which is i think the bjp party is saying anything between 100 to 200 mr. is Raj, wrong i am aware but there were 20 uh, mr. that uh, mr that is Raj, there. so I'm what is your uh, mr missing? raj i am yeah. aware what she said and you took it as truth well we are like listening to you, you. <laughs> because, because the homework that was required to be done by going through report of the nsrc the homework that was required to be done by addressing judicial orders was ignored i visited the entire state from 13th to 15th of may then there was complete block out 
like uh, this lockdown. What I saw, girls' tears not stopping because they were raped. Seen houses that were looted. So the places where there was arson. How can you countenance when a state does not offer any sucker? You don't visit any house. You don't take note of it. And you offer a platform to her without checking her facts. Allow her free run. And secondly, I put it to Chief Minister in writing that it is constitutional anarchy. If you act on communal basis, if you act on appeasement, we had a terrible carnage at Rampur Heart where women and children were burnt alive. The authorities that wanted to save them could not save them because of the goons. Within 36 hours she went, gave each of them five lakhs, a house, a government service, and, and she did not rise, you'll be surprised and shocked as a human being. Not a single such relief was given to those who were killed in post-war violence, those who were killed uh, massively as a family, crucified. Now, what do you say? No, because I'm asking you what would you say because you're the governor of the state, you have the powers within you, you also have the powers under an article of the constitution to dismiss this, recommend the dismissal, dismissal of this government. Let's not go what that have far. you? No, no, let's, let's ask what have you... Sir, okay, you can fault the media with various things. What Ra has the governor Ra of the state done Raj, on this one? I have signaled two things at this moment. So far, syndicate mafia Raj and post poll violence. Nothing can be more shameful demo for democracy that persons must be visited with consequences of rape, murder, arson, loot because they vote according to their conscience. Number one. Number two, under Article 167 of the Constitution, there is a duty cast on the Chief Minister to give information to the Governor. My tweets focus on that. Perhaps your anchor missed them. No, Not a single response and performance of this constitutional duty by the Chief Minister. And I can understand why they relate to scams which you cannot imagine. Have you seen recently the most significant aspect of recruitment scam? It is mother of all scams. It is ballooning every day. And look at the high court orders and you will be surprised. I'm not, I'm not making reference that is not documented. And the high court says corruption writ large in the whole process of this public employment. High court finding. Secondly, and nothing but a scam where even, and now you'll be surprised, appointment given to whom? Who never participated in the process? Appointment given to whom? Who were never in the merit list? And high court concludes that unless corrupt practices were there, this could not have happened. That's why I this was allowed to happen. Governor and Saab, I, uh, it's fair, you have now listed three or four serious charges against the chief I'll, minister. I, I know now, the, the point is that at the end of the day, you are the person that can decide that, whether you'd sir, like to dis have the government dismissed or sir, not. What is your stand on this? Sir, first let me indicate, uh, indicate my deep anguish mm -hmm. that media has a great role in such kind of situations and we must focus on them. These were the issues required to be put to the Honorable Chief Minister yesterday. They are in public domain. It was put, but it, uh, you it, might it, uh, disagree. One second, sir. Sahab, we'll, one, uh, one second, yes. bear with me. Recruitment scam of a much smaller scale Former Chief Minister have spent several years in jail. This scam is of unprecedented nature. And mind you, a finding of fact in a government documentation sent to the governor that more than 5,000 candidates were given 
postings illegally jumping the queue without merit and can you ever digest or countenance people who never participated in the process being in, being given appointment and what has happened more disturbing is that even institution of assembly has been ignored i'll tell you something no are you building a case to say that these sir, have reached a point sir, of no return or where do you stand in this sir, thing because after all you're the governor sir, you have every right to ask her sir, to first, present the facts and first first let me put the reality before the people through this very significant platform and my indication to everyone through you is nowhere in the country an assembly has been so ignored for example the state finance commission has to give report to the governor constitutional body it was not given governor had to cause it to be laid before the house could not be laid can you beat it have you ever seen it such constitutional failure number 2 lok ayukt is required to give report every year not given lok ayukt report had to be sent to the assembly not sent can we digest it there is a statutory provision that gorka territorial administration every year there will be ca0 audit she became chief minister in 2021 2011 am i right and gorka territorial administration came into being in pursuance to an act of 2021 to 11 in 2012 not a single cag audit sir not a single cag audit these are the issues well number yes, one, number 2 no yesterday when we asked her this question she said that you treat her like a bonded labor and you you are you know you consider yourself a superpower of some sort and and, and you didn't ask more no we did ask no, no. i mean <laughs> but no, let's not get no, into what we asked no, not but this is what she no, no, says no. of the governor publicly sir sir if i tell you chief minister is not doing her constitutional duty you will have to ask me please indicate which constitutional duty she has not done fine and you outlined it now i'm asking you so I'm what saying, are you going to do about that no I'm, i mean as governor you have second, the powers under article 356 one, one or second, in various sir. sections of the constitution one second sir chancellor's role yeah let's come to that did you ask the chief minister that ma'am you are already de facto chancellor you appointed 25 chancellors without reference to the governor can you ever imagine so where lobbying you... lobbying so trampled sir here is a scenario where democracy is breathing virtually its last here is a scenario which has all the elements of a police state here is a scenario where functioning is state within a state imagine cm should have been put questions you are using assembly you are using agencies registering cases against every central agency and she puts the same compromise. just to let you know she makes the same allegation against you that you control the ed and the cbi i mean her people say so and that you are the one that is instigating a lot of the cases and the governor who should be an independent uh, institution so, is playing politics on a light on a lighter side <laughs> i control everyone except the chief minister whom i have to control <laughs> just imagine sir itna mat karo karo be kind to her no no leave us aside now so let us come to sir itna, so you itna, have now itna, itna, you you have jaise you Jesse, have hammered sunye, the media sunye. and whatever you want Raj, to say Raj, let us uh, come ne, to the question sir because may, i think people want to know those answers i am uh, no let us now I, let I, us deal with each of the issues that I, you raised I, I, i am putting issues only yes let us our deal. chief minister makes a public statement that the governor has pegasus is getting telephone tapped 
See, you must be probed on that. And let me tell you, <coughs> constitutional transgressions by her are of an extreme degree. And if I have indicated these aspects based on judicial orders, based on findings of committees, based on hard facts, like I said, the State Finance Commission, is it not constitutional failure? Yeah, so you said all these issues, so what, what are you going to do about it? You have the powers, you can sir, recommend to the president sir, uh, to dismiss this government. The governor will not let down people of the state. And by that you mean? I, I believe in persuasion. I hope she will listen to it. Things should fall in place. I know that I have to work in tandem with the government. I am not a stakeholder in politics. I am a stakeholder only that the governance must be in accordance with constitutional law. I take only command from the constitution and a platform is easily made available. He is agent of that, he is of that political party, he has that inclination. Why no question is put to the chief minister that you are failing on every facet of constitution. Governor Saab. You are not performing your duty to give information to the governor when he asks you about pandemic purchase scam, when he asks you about Andal project, when he asks you about Mark Canteen, when he asks you about Bengal Global Business Summit actual results, and many more. Well, I mean, fair enough. You've asked all those questions, and you have to, you're in a position to take action against it. You are saying that at the moment, what is your stand? Are you, have, have you reached the point of no return? Or you are saying that you will still do business with her? I'm sure you know with your experience. No, no, sir. I am not second guessing you. One second. You know with your huge experience, these are not issues to be reflected by the governor on any public platform, including yours. All I'm saying is, I appeal to two categories in particular. I appeal to every West Bengal mind, intelligentsia, your silence will be very painful. If you choose to remain silent for long, you shall be silenced forever. I appeal to my brothers and sisters in the media, please focus on West Bengal. West Bengal is sitting on a volcano. West Bengal is a critical state. In West Bengal, we have no democracy. Governor, you have said Can that, you uh, imagine Raj for a minute? No, no, no. Governor, let me now. No, sir, I've let you have your say on sir, all these matters. Sir. May I, as an anchor, ask you a few questions? And then we can continue with... Uh, I'll say one and then you ask. I'll say one. <laughs> Most recently, as crucifixion of democracy, a decimation of human rights and values, Chief Minister announced at Asan Sol jihad against BJP, the opposition party, on 21st July 2022. Now, what? I have written to let her. Let me say no. One, one second. I, I, I've seen Bear what you wrote sir. to her. No, no. We've can, seen any, can in any democratic society, can in any society governed by law, can any society that believes in civility and rights, you can give such a call? Jihad? Yesterday, against opposition parties? May I just intervene, uh, Governor Saab? Yesterday we asked this precise question, and she said the meaning is being misinterpreted in Urdu and Hindi. She said it means strong protest, not what you are, interpre what you are interpreting out of this. Sir, you believe her too easily. I'm not, so I'm stating what she said. And then, we are giving you the same forum to say then, what you feel about you, it. You were good enough to play video before me. You should have played her video to her. That would have been absolutely nailing the uh, situation. Well, she said it in this forum, so we are not... Uh, no, no, uh, I'll tell you. She said so, loud and clear, carried in high decibel, with all cylinders firing. Fair enough. So now she's explained no, that. No, no, number one. No, sir, sir. In a public forum, she has said what she means of jihad is strong protest. Where, Not where? in this. What is your view about that? No, no. I strongly, studied, yeah. I strongly deprecate 
I strongly condemn, and this can't be countenanced, that a chief minister under oath of constitution at a public meeting calls upon the people to initiate jihad against the opposition party. And have you, sir, cared to find out the status of public representatives in opposition here? Bengal ki halat hai, saans lena hai, jindgi basar karna hai, nokri karni hai, Sir, can I? Jinda I, I, no, no, sir. sir. One second. No, let sir, me now, sir. sir, sir let sir. me ask a question of you. Sir, okay, we'll come back me, to this. Let we'll me come conclude. back. I know you've got a. Uh, sir, 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 let me. Let you've me, got these points. You sir, will be allowed to conclude. say that. Sir. Otherwise, no, sir, you said you had one more point and you'll conclude. No, no, no. let me conclude. Now you've sir. gone to another subject. Let no, me deal. No, no sir. I've got sir, a few sir, questions, sir. Raj, I will not yield. Raj, I will not yield. I will have my point. Okay. Bengal me jina hai, saans lena hai, nokri karni hai, rajniti karni hai. अच्छी जिंदगी लीड करनी है एक ही रास्ता है बी विद द रूलिंग पार्टी इसके अलावा कोई रास्ता नहीं है और किसी भी प्रजातांत्रिक व्यवस्था के लिए इससे बड़ा खतरा कोई हो नहीं सकता और यह खतरा पश्चिम बंगाल में प्राकाष्ठा पर है यह ओपन सीक्रेट है यू कैन सी द पीपल हियर इफ दे आर फ्रॉम बंगाल वो जानते हैं ओपन सीक्रेट है यहां पर आधी रात को आपको जाना पड़ सकता है ये दिगर पसंद नहीं करते हैं। जो बातें मैंने आपको इंडिकेट की हैं सर, I need your support. We must curb all these nefarious activities. My minimum requirement from the chief minister is follow rule of law and constitution. Public meeting के अंदर आप उन जजेस को ताजेट करते हो, and the Diamond Harbour MP says power of truth to the governor. Sir, सच्चाई का सामना करना पड़ेगा। so we've got a limited time. May I just finish some of the questions that I had for you so that we can, I know you've, uh, this thing. let's deal with this university amendment bill that is there. Mm -hmm. She has said that uh, uh, she would, uh, you know, would like to replace you and become the chancellor. Mm -hmm. And that so far you have not decided on this bill. What is your view on this? Because she says that in Gujarat, as well as in Maharashtra, I, I, similar I, I, bills have come. I heard it. Yeah. The bill came to me. It has been sent back to her. With what? It's not pending with me. And what are your comments on that? I have said they sent incomplete information, even according to their own communication. They are required to send assembly debates. They did not send. Why it sent to the governor incomplete debates? I sent it back. No bill is pending with me. So now the ball is in her court, you're saying? Or let's say concerned people, assembly. But. मेरी सबसे बड़ी समस्या क्या है? Let me ask the other next question. Sir, you are taking more time than the speaker. We are running out of questions. Sir, एक चीज़ आप यहाँ से No, there are some things about you also that the ruling party has said that there was this civic election that was to be held in December. Which क्या? What was it? Municipal and civic elections that were to be held, and you had, and one of them, of course, you had advised the election commission to hold it together. One, second, that they had wanted to amend the bill so that the Hugli uh, municipality would be broken up, but you have, uh, you know, so far not cleared sir, that. And the elections has been held for close to a year now. So sir, what do you have to say for sir, that? Sir, do something. do something. First of all, you know what the State Election Commission? A constitutional body? Or the governor has direction? Diya? Pucha? कोई डायरेक्शन दिया क्या? You advise the election commission. Why become a platform to trade and truth? Why allow? I'm telling, I'm telling, उनसे उसी टाइम पूछते, दूध का दूध और पानी का पानी, एकदम साफ हो जाता। Sir, I often remember रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर, उनका विजन क्या था? Where mind is without fear. And head is held high. आप पता लगा लीजिए, mind is full of fear. पश्चिम बंगाल का fear quotient किसी भी democratic part के तुलना में सबसे अधिक है number one sir and number two my head on account of the scenario here is in shame. I will continue to work for welfare of the people and I know it is taking time. But I will continue to make sincere efforts 
they are bearing fruit they are rising slightly and i am sure media will cooperate sir ek baat aap se kehta hu can i can you me? point out as a senior journalist single transgression of law and constitution by this governor single and i am sure that is part of your duty and homework also i am before you point out you this i'm asking why don't you clear that uh, bill the hugli uh, division bill i mean they were that's been pending for a while did someone tell you it is pending with me did you ask her it is pending with me you don't believe me when i say it is not pending with me what do i do sir so why why did you return it sir i have given a reason they have not been able to reply to it for months i don't want to share official documents here and most important you will be shocked have a look at this document sir okay sir <laughs> no no one document <laughs> i appoint i appoint a vice chancellor ramendra bharti university because minister says sir appoint and the same minister says what have i done sir we are in democratic chaos we are in right. governance that is as a matter of fact what are we seeing here we have become a laboratory for violation of human rights and when people tell me governor in west bengal democracy is on gas chamber can i ask you another question there has been a lookout notice for nupur sharma the bjp mm -hmm. ex bjp spokesperson about mm -hmm. what she said mm -hmm. and in B bengal and mm -hmm. if she comes to bengal should be arrested mm -hmm. do you approve of that should you be asking this question think to yourself i'm asking you you're no, no, the governor you, of the state you no, have said this dem democracy no, doesn't no, prevail no. my views uh, no, uh, uh, leave, leave, uh, leave uh, my uh, views aside but what sir, is your sir i cannot behave this way i am a copy book governor i believe in constitution right. i believe in law unless something comes on my table i don't react and that has been my track record you are diverting an issue i know it may be for reasons which according to your right but according to me not my concern if something will come to me all i know is that bureaucracy in west bengal is thoroughly politicized they are political workers they have forgotten their legal regime they have forgotten conduct rules and on this issue has any paper come to me am i required to take an action am i required to do something but you have I, expressed concerns about democracy being in danger am, and uh, the supreme court recently had taken uh, you know no, had made certain no, remarks no, about nupur sharma the, about the concerns they I, had again raj i will never get into an area which is not my constitutional concern i already sought your indulgence that please even after this program is over do me a small favor and this appeal is to the very large media house point out a single transgression of constitution law by this governor well, and secondly try to look for single constitutional compliance by chief minister i can unhesitatingly indicate to you you will have tough time in finding my transgressions and you will have plenty plethora of information where constitution has virtually been trampled by the chief minister ignored 100% violations of express nature where not only the governor but even assembly has been made to suffer so are you saying the roles are reversed that you are the bonded labor and she is the super power she is ignoring sir, you I, completely sir it is for her to use any words she likes i can concede one defeat at her hands i can never come to a low level to which she goes Achha, tell me what very frequently does she meet you when she meets you what is the kind of relationship what do you how sir, long is sir again i am sure with your experience you know it these are issues not to be discussed on platforms no but do do, do tell us no, your I, I, uh, your relationship sir, with the chief minister because you outlined all these sir, issues i will never deviate from what is fundamental requirement that what you say chef and grain i will focus on grain 
I will focus on issues that are painful to nine crore people of West Bengal. I will focus on the kind of appeasement that is dist destroying democracy here. I will focus on issues of rapid communal political stance by her. I will not deviate from anything that does not concern my job. My job is Swidhan ke tehat kaam karo, kanun ke tehat kaam karo, aur apna raaz karo. So now I'm just asking the your, your job. You said it is to do all these things. Mm -hmm. Under that, you have the powers to take action against the government. Why aren't you moving if you are so, uh, you know, uh, so crit critical of the way she has run this whole? Again, sir. sir. Yeah. आप लोग ऐसा नैरेटिव फ्लोट करते हो नहीं आपने पूरे नैरेटिव आपने दिया था फ्रॉम पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू लाइक अ लॉयर यू आर्ग्यूड दिस केस सुनिए सर नाउ वी वांट द वर्डिक्ट फ्रॉम यू वन सेकंड कल नैरेटिव फ्लोट कर दिया नहीं नहीं आप सुनिए सर यू लव टू यू लव टू ऑब्जर्व साइलेंस फॉर नेक्स्ट 3 मिनट्स सो दैट आई आई हैव माय से सर कल नैरेटिव फ्लोट कर दिया गवर्नर ने बिल को अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिक्लेअर कर दिया कमाल है सेकंड नैरेटिव फ्लोट कर दिया कि गवर्नर रोज ट्वीट के माध्यम से मुख्यमंत्री को समन करते हैं आपने एक नैरेटिव एक और कर दिया कि क्या करोगे आई एम आस्किंग यू नहीं देखिए नॉट अ नैरेटिव आई एम आस्किंग यू स्ट्रेट एंड सिंपल यू हैव आउटलाइंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स ब्रिलियंटली एज एंड यू आर अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट लॉयर ऑफ ग्रेट एमिनेंस एट वन टाइम यू मेड योर केस but why what is the verdict you are you can decide that verdict sir you can recommend to the president are sir, you sir these issues again are not meant for being disclosed on public platforms but i can tell you my first obligation is to ensure constitution prevails mera सबसे दुखी दिन था 17 मई 2021 मैंने चार मंत्री और वरिष्ठ नेताओं के खिलाफ सैंक्शन दी थी वो चारों के चारों अरेस्ट हो गए थे और क्या तांडव नृत्य देखा छ महीने छ घंटे के लिए तांडव नृत्य माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी यहाँ लोकल सीबीआई हेडक्वार्टर पर पहुंच गई माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी ने वहां धरना दे दिया माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी ने कहा इनको छोड़ो या मुझे अरेस्ट करो और नतीजा क्या हुआ लोग इकट्ठे हो गए इन स्पाइट ऑफ कोविड प्रोटोकॉल एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम कलकत्ता पुलिस खड़ी रहती गई सीएपीए पर पत्थर बरसते रहे आप सब कुछ नजरअंदाज कर रहे हो कब तक करोगे क्या सोचा है कभी और मैं आपको कहता हूं no, जो बंगाल में हो रहा है एक सेकंड सर वी आर आउट ऑफ टाइम फुली जो बंगाल में हो रहा है वो किसी और प्रांत में होता तो आप क्या करते इसका मैं अंदाजा लगा सकता हूं यदि अगर आप पता लगाएंगे यहां कितने बलात्कार होते हैं आप पता लगाएंगे किस तरीके की राजनीति हो रही है Sir, have you told Mamta Didi, the Chief Minister, of all these points and warned her and said, "Look, I'm so disappointed with it you." It is here. It is here. But you've written. Have you? When you spoke to her, did you discuss all these? Do you spend time with her talking it, about these issues? It's a very important question. ये कहा जाता है इसलिए कह रहा हूँ. Raj, this governor has put everything in writing. कभी यदि अगर ये बंगाल पेपर्स में छापूंगा तो आप दंग रह जाएंगे और आश्चर्य की बात है कि मान्य मुख्यमंत्री ने एक भी पत्र का जवाब नहीं दिया क्योंकि जवाब बनता नहीं है जो जवाब दिए वो फॉर्मल है ठीक है ना माय फ्रेंड इज टेकिंग नोट्स so that there there can be rebuttal by TMC. I have no objection on that. Go ahead. But, sir, मैं बता रहा हूं 
पश्चिम बंगाल के अंदर मीडिया की हालत पर थोड़ा ध्यान दीजिए आप थोड़ा कीजिए थोड़ा कीजिए जनता की मदद कीजिए गवर्नर के खिलाफ अटैक कीजिए गवर्नर की बात मत सुनिए गवर्नर के खिलाफ साइज और नेरेटिव अपलोड कर दीजिए एक एक नेरेटिव आप लोगों ने कर रखा मैं बताता हूं आपने एक नेरेटिव कर रखा है गवर्नर इज एट लोगर हेड्स विद चीफ मिनिस्टर प्लेस पॉलिटिक्स ऑल द टाइम अब आप देखिए आपने बताया नेरेटिव मैं वो सब नहीं अब आप देखिए क्या इससे बड़ा अन्याय मेरे पर हो सकता है गलती वो करे गलत काम वो करे सुविधान की धजिया वो उड़ाए और मैं लड़ रहा हूं मेरे को एक बताइए आप इट्स इट्स स्ट्रेंज थिंग सर आई मीन इन कंक्लूजन राज एक सेकेंड आप प्रांत के अंदर गवर्नर का प्रोटोकॉल समझते हैं आई होप आई एम राइट ही इज एट नंबर वन असेंबली में इस गवर्नर ने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डे के ऊपर छठे नंबर पर भाषण दिया सर कभी सोचिए सोल सर्च कीजिए जो कुछ किया जा रहा है वो बहुत गलत है मैं बर्दाश्त कर रहा हूं और दूसरा मैं चुप हूं ममता जी चाय सो बोलती हैं पेगास की बात कर देती हैं आसाम में उन्होंने गोवा में जाकर क्या कहा राजभवन में एक राजा रहता है पॉलिटिकल मीटिंग के अंदर सर कभी जवान खोल दूंगा ना तो बहुत लोगों की बोलती बंद हो जाएगी वेल यू स्पोक लॉट टुडे सर नो सर इट इज इट इज इट इज टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग वेल गवर्नर वी वी आई एम अफ्रेड विल हैव टू कंक्लूड दिस सेशन this is india today conclave we'll listen to all the sides however fervent whatever you'd like to say we have allowed you the time to do that we thank you for your presence over here let's give him a very warm round of applause to the governor of west bengal uh, you want to have the last word <laughs> i think i should have am i right ma'am i am grateful to india today group i thought there could be no better wholesome and sublime platform to reveal my mind and my stand i offer to india to the group to probe the governor as harsh as they can and indicate in times to come any transgression of constitutional law by him i also appeal to this very important platform that it is high time they come to the rescue of 9 crore people in state of west bengal and put in public domain the serious issues of syndicate mafia raj collapse of constitutionalism rabid criminalization and extreme appeasement that threaten democracy i wish to invite attention indulgent attention of the media to focus on the democracy in the state of west bengal is cliff hanging it is breathing its last we cannot have a state within a state we cannot have a mechanism of a police state it is virtually a state governed by politicized bureaucracy that acts as political workers and a chief minister who has no respect for rule of law i am again grateful to raj and india today group for having made available this platform to me and i am sure all that i have said it is with utmost restraint out of my heart with complete confidence and belief that it will result in some kind of balm some kind of assistance to the 9 crore suffering people of the state of west bengal i am sure they will focus that there are two categories of people in state of west bengal those who have sound sleep every day and those who spend sleepless nights those who generate fear of law and those who are never in fear of law and therefore with your efforts media has been responsible in restoration of democracy in several countries in right South sir i think this is a very Africa. long last word you are having <laughs> <laughs> so and, i, I and, think and, you and got your point on, on a light to side <laughs> raj raj on a light to side <laughs> and, and and in court of law 
when we say this is the last argument my lord that is never the last <laughs> argument <laughs> thank you very much the onus lies on you governor apart from the media ladies and gentlemen the west bengal governor let's give him a warm round of applause for this thank I'd you so request, much i'd request i'd request everyone you. to please stand for the national anthem जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे